Dooby dooby doo. Where are. Oh, hello! Hi, friends. Welcome to the Weird World News Roll 20 World and Art Bundle Inside Look. That was a mouthful. What's inside this beautiful world and adventure by Andre LaRoche, illustrated by Brian D20 Patterson? I'm glad you asked. Let's check it out. First thing we got is the adventure module itself and the art pack. We've got the list of all the things involved included in there, including the tokens, the rollable tables, the screens, the journal entries, uh, all that good stuff. Let's take a little, a real quick look at that art pack. Uh, Brian Patterson did some lovely, lovely work here. We adore these tokens. They're real, real cute. And uh, you can use them in your world, weird world news fate adventure or any other kind of teen goofy mystery solving uh, stories. One thing we're particularly uh, fond of is the scenario frame, which you can't see very large here, but all in the actual module you'll see it in full effect and it does some cool stuff. It's got a transparent background for you to put your own um, details in as well. Uh, very, very cool. So let's dive into that module. Uh, as usual, we start off with a quick start page. This one has a instructions for the players and the GMs, as well as tokens for the four uh, iconic PCs. And since we had so much art of each of them, um, uh, Alexa, Griffey, uh, etc., we just included them all. Here's tokens of, uh, of, all the, of all the characters. So, you know, here's Vinny, lots of different tokens for Vinny, for, for, for all the rest. Uh, good, good, good types here. Standard start page, basic instructions, get you going. Next up is we have the GM notes. Um, this includes the fate bookmark, which has the basic fate rules, a bunch of extra tokens, which includes uh, some generic tokens that you can use for anything, as well as uh, tokens assigned to specific GM characters. And it goes through the instructions on using rollable tables on the map and background layer, which I will do with you right now. So one of the things that we are most happy about uh, in this particular module is the use of layers and both in the map and background layer and on the GM layer. So of note, everything that's visible right now, um, let's see, everything that's visible right now is what the players will see when they, when they come here. But the GM has the ability to uh, reveal and change a lot of this content as they go along. This also of note is just roll 20 text so that can be updated and changed as you uh, learn more in this mystery game. So I'm going to turn the GM overlay opacity back up so we can see the text. This text in red tells you instructions on how to use, uh, how to change the map uh, or the background, which I'm going to show you in a second. And all of these characters over here are potential suspects which you can reveal as they become relevant in the game. The way you'll do that is you'll go to the GM layer and then you can right click on any given character and change its layer from GM to token layer and voila, it is now visible. If we go back to turning off the GM uh, layer opacity, so everything that's GM only is hidden, we'll see, oops, we'll try that again. We'll see that Tasha is still visible and, and now on the objects and token layer. Uh, the other cool thing is on the map and background layer, this background that we have here uh, is a frame for lots of different potential background images. So what you do is uh, right click, go to multi-sided, choose side. I should probably back up. First I went to the map and background layer. Then I right clicked, multi-sided, choose side. Uh, this image is so weedle! Uh, but what you can do is go ahead and just expand the tool, the picker, and then you can see all these different backgrounds. And come on, there we go and uh, select the one that you want for your players to see. So you can change the scene uh, right in front of them. Uh, additionally, if you go to the last option, it's blank, and this is a transparent uh, PNG where the white space right in the middle is transparent, so you can put your own images back there if you want to show your own stuff. That is also germane to the art library where if you pull out the, uh, if you pull up this screen and you drag it over, it'll do the same thing. So you have lots of, lots of options there. So these pages are really designed to uh, help, tell your, help tell both the adventures that are part of the Fate world, but also your own and still keep this very cool uh, Weird World News Volume 23 Gazette uh, notepad look um, that you can add to any, any of your games. Uh, so let's look at some of the other bits that we've got in here, some of the other, these are all the pages. Let's look at the journal entries. 
So we've got your basic readme. This tells you everything that's in the game. Um, and then all the contents have the entire contents, including the mysteries and uh, or the adventure and uh, all the various sources of inspiration and character creation roles and how to create episodes. All that stuff is in here. These are all cross-linked. Uh, these are all cross-linked handouts. They've got some cool tables in them. Uh, all sorts of good, uh, uh, all sorts of good ideas to get you started in creating your own works. Plus the uh, Moon of Mothman adventure right here, and uh, as well as a little journal on monsters for future episodes, uh, uh, other threats. Then we scroll down. We have all of the main player characters, including Griffy, who is adorable. Uh, Griffy, the pygmy-sized talking griffin. Uh, his loving personality, always looking for scratches behind the back of his uh, feather ears and a warm lap to fall asleep in. Uh, and if we go to character sheet, of course, we see all of Griffy's, all of Griffy's stats. The same for all of the uh, other PCs. Um, they're all here. They're all fully loaded with uh, their character information and their character sheet. Uh, and then down here we have all the GF characters uh, for the adventure. So everything, uh, all of them, uh, Captain Robobeard uh, is right there with all of his stuff. And singing sea shanties with mathematical precision, he's fair at, plus two, awesome. Finally, if you look at the uh, collections tab, I think it is, yeah, the collections tab, we have our, our standard two uh, macros for the GM fate roll by tokens. If you wanna click on a random NPC or for the player to click on a, one of the characters and just roll right off the character. Of note, one thing you might want to do is double check that the token, that the, Mac, the player fate roll token is shared by all players or is accessible to all players. And the way you do that is you go under visible to players and you say all players and save changes on that. That way everyone can everyone can use it. And then we also have a uh, deck of fate points. So if you show that, you'll see it down here in the lower right and you can just drag out these cool looking fate points, which flip over even, uh, flip, flip. Um, so that's everything in Weird World News. Uh, we hope you get up to some mischief, solving some crimes, and finding some monsters, real or imaginary, uh, to play with. Have a good one.